that we're going to do for this recipe is we are going to activate the yeast. Here I have the heavy cream and the half and half and we are going to add two teaspoons of dry active yeast, two and a quarter teaspoons, which is equivalent to one little package. But I like to buy it in this little jar. I just keep it in the freezer so that it doesn't get rancid on you. So we're going to give this a mix. And I did warm up the milk to 110 degrees. Don't go any higher than that because you will kill the yeast. And to the yeast, we are also going to add some sugar that goes into our recipe and that gives the yeast something to feed on to activate. Okay, we're going to let the yeast do its thing. It takes about five minutes to activate. While we're waiting for the yeast to activate, I'm going to get these other products ready to go. Here I have my uh, bread flour and my salt and we're just going to give this a little mix. Then the remainder of the sugar and give this a little mix. And at the same time, it's whisking up your flour, making it nice and airy. Okay, so we're going to pour in our bread flour into the mixer with the dough hook. You can do this by hand if you want to. And I do have a slightly beaten egg here and some melted butter or softened butter. Just make sure it's not hot. Okay, guys. Here is the yeast. You see how it's nice and activated? That's how you know your yeast is alive. We are going to pour everything into our mixer. I'm going to pour our egg. Let me get a spatula. Okay, we're going to put our egg in there. Get all that little egg in there. We're going to add our butter and our yeast. And scrape that bowl. Get all that yeast in there. All right, and then we're just going to mix it. Start slowly. Okay guys, this thing has been going for about 10 minutes and it looks a little gooey. And we're going to check to see if we're going to have to add a little bit more flour. If the dough is sticking too much to your hands, you see it sticks to your hands a little bit, we're going to add just a little bit more, about a tablespoon of flour, and then we're going to let it beat again for about five minutes. To me, the whole trick to this is letting it knead properly. So I'm going to add another tablespoon of flour, and that should be enough because it really wasn't sticking to my fingers that much. Okay, so I'm going to add this. And we're going to knead it for five minutes, and then we'll be back. Okay, this has been kneading. I'm going to get this out of here. i sprinkle a little bit of flour on the board. And we're going to pop it out. It's very, very, very soft. We're going to need just a little bit to come together. Okay, we're going to take our bowl, we're going to let this rise, we're going to grease it first with some baking spray, okay, and we're going to turn it upside down, make sure everything is nice and greased so that it doesn't dry up on us, and we are going to cover it with a towel, keep it in a warm place for about an hour, hour and a half. We are looking for it to double in size, so I'll be back at that point. All right, this has been resting. It's pretty much doubled in size. Get all this out of here. We're gonna take this out of the bowl. And I do have my little cake pan here. This is a, a nine by five cake pan that I like to use. You can use whatever pan you like. It doesn't make a difference. Okay, so we're gonna take our dough out of here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shape it lengthwise like this. What you want to do is you want to go, you don't want to go any wider than what it's going to fit in the pan. What we're going to do here, I'm going to be flopping the, the board around so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Hope you can see there. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to make little lines with this pastry cutter that we have here. Just the size of the, the width of the cutter. Just like that. 
and this is for decorative purposes only this has if you don't want to do this step you don't have to you can just roll it up I just like the look that it gives it okay see how it gets little strips like that so now I'm gonna turn the board back around what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it just like that roll it and roll it and roll okay and then we're going to put it into our pan try to get it without messing up the lines and it fits perfectly in here okay fits perfectly just like that i'm going to bring you in for a close-up so you can see the little lines okay so we're going to let this rise one more time and then we're going to brush it with an egg wash and bake it Okay, so I'm going to cover this back up. This step should take about 30 minutes. This one shouldn't take that long. So we're just going to leave them sitting here on, on the counter and we'll be back. Okay, guys, here is the loaf. We are going to brush it with an egg wash. So just take an egg and then we just brush it real good all the way around, all the edges. Try not to push down on it so that it doesn't deflate. And I already have the oven at 340 degrees. Okay, there we go. I will be back to show you what it looks like when it's done. I'll give you a close-up how cute that looks. Okay, guys, the bread is ready. I am going to pop it out of here so that it can cool on the cooling rack. Look at that. It's still very hot. Look at that. Ooh Okay, we're going to wait till this cools down completely before we cut into it. So we'll be back. Alrighty, guys. The bread is out. It was baking for 35 minutes. Look at that. How cute that looks. And this is what I call a breakfast bread. It's a little bit more on the sweet side. Not too, too much. Just, just enough to where you know that there's a little bit of sweet. So let's go ahead and cut this. It's been sitting here for a little while. Let me show you the inside. Look at that. Nice and real tender, tender bread. And you can have it with, you know, a little bit of butter or just some, some jelly or jam. Look at that. Yummy. Can't wait to try this. That's what the inside looks like. Real, real tender, guys. Real nice. You can have this on um, with an egg on top or just, you know, like I said, just with just with butter in the morning. Nice, quick breakfast. Alrighty, guys, let's go ahead and take a taste. Mmm. Mm. Nice. This is very, very tasty, guys. I really hope you give the recipe a try. If you have any questions about the recipe, just drop me a comment down below and I will get back with you. I hope you give it a try. It's really nice for breakfast, on the go. Just take it with you or you can make some French toast out of it or toast it up and have avocado toast with it. Really good. Just that little hint of, just that little hint of sweet in there, not too much. And, uh, you can just pair this up with just about anything. Okay guys, that's going to conclude the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed making it for you. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our content. And if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Hit that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload a video. And don't forget, share my videos with family and friends. Okay guys, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.